Greetings and a very warm welcome to Kashmir University's weekly video magazine Quest. This week's Quest highlights. Minister of State for Agriculture and Food Processing Industries visits the university. Librarian Day observed. And Vice Chancellor holds meeting with members of e-governance team. Now the details of these events with me, your host today, Muhammad Fahim al-Islam. Minister of State for Agriculture and Food Processing Industries, Mr. Tariq Anwar, visited the University of Kashmir. During his visit, the minister had a detailed interaction with Vice Chancellor Professor Talat Ahmed and other administrative officers of the university. Welcoming the guests, Vice Chancellor Professor Talat Ahmed presented a brief profile of the university. He informed the minister that the university has signed many MOUs with international universities for the benefit of students. The university started in 1984, uh, 48 as University of Jammu and Kashmir and got bifurcated into University of Kashmir and University of Jammu in 1969 by an act of the legislature. Our university has gone a long way in this uh, developments and at present it is grade A university, one of the few universities which has grade A given by the NAC. We have signed MOU with Delhi University, Jawaharlal Nehru University, Sikkim University, many of these universities in the country and also abroad and also some of the leading research centers of the country uh, to make access for our students and teachers to different institutions in the country and the benefit is already uh, being seen now. Professor Talat sought help of Agriculture Minister in helping the university to achieve its tasks. Future plans is also to establish an incubation center uh, with the help of Tata uh, Group and uh, I want uh, your help in establishing a residential coaching center for our students. Uh, you must be seeing in the newspaper, lots of students now are taking part in central services. 11 students got IAS cleared this time. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but we don't have any facilities for people or children from far-flung areas to come to Srinagar and get trained. So I have already talked to Pallam Rajuji and I have given a proposal. I am giving you a proposal of this. It is here. Uh, can you put a word with uh, Shri Pallam Raju and try to help us to have this as soon as possible so that uh, our university get benefited and the children from the valley get benefited. Assuring Vice Chancellor of all possible help for its various initiatives and expansion programs, Mr. Tariq Anwar lauded the university for all its endeavors in gaining recognition. <laughs> एजुकेशन में आप जाना चाहते हैं और अपने कैंपस को वसी करना चाहते हैं ये बहुत अच्छी बात है और ये होना भी चाहिए ये जानकर भी मुझे ताज्जुब हुआ कि करीब 800 बच्चे यहाँ से उनको अलग-अलग जगहों पर इम्प्लीमेंट की अपॉर्चुनिटी मिली है हिंदुस्तान के अलग-अलग हिस्सों में वो जाकर काम कर रहे हैं तो ये मैं समझता हूँ कि हमारे मुल्क के नेशनल इंटीग्रेशन के लिए भी जरूरी है कि हमारे कश्मीर से बच्चे बिहार में जाएं, उत्तर प्रदेश में जाएं, 
اور بامبے اور دہلی میں جا کر کام کرے اور اس طرح سے ہم لوگ ایک آپس میں ہمارا تعلق ہمارا رشتہ اور مضبوط ہو سکتا ہے اور یہ ہمارے لیے بہت ہی اہمیت رکھتا ہے The agriculture minister said that he was impressed with the progress of university in not only providing higher education to the youth but also generating employment for them. Agar is university ke liye main kuch kar saka to main apne aap ko khush naseeb samjhunga. Main chahunga ke jab bhi waqtan fauqtan jab bhi aapko hamare jaise logon ki zarurat hai ho to aap yaqeenan bagair kisi jhijhak ke آپ ہمیں ہمارے سامنے ساری باتیں رکھیں اور ہم کوشش کریں گے جو آپ نے کوچنگ انسٹیٹیوٹ کے بارے میں کہا ہے یقیناً ہم جو ہمارے وزیر تعلیم ہیں اور ہیومن ریسورسز کے منسٹر ہیں ان سے بات چیت کریں گے ان کو کہیں گے کہ یہ ضروری ہے اور اس کو ہونا چاہیے اپنی طرف سے میری پوری کوشش رہے گی Speaking on the occasion, Dean Academic Affairs Professor A.M. Shah told the Agriculture Minister that university's endeavor has been to develop linkages. We have been trying our level best to develop linkages with the universities outside as well as at the national as well as at the international level. In fact, this has helped our university substantially. Our students are now not only placed, they are going for short programs to different places in Delhi, in Mumbai, in other important centers in Bangalore, in Hyderabad and other places. Not only that, our faculty members are also seizing the opportunities at the national and the international level. Ultimately, we have been focusing on the quality education. Net result of that is that we have been able to deliver on many fronts. Later, the minister visited the departmental laboratory and food processing pilot plant of food science and technology. Mr. Anwar also visited the Department of Biotechnology and Allama Iqbal Library. Allama Iqbal Library celebrated the Librarian's Day. The day is celebrated in remembrance of Dr. S. R. Ranganathan who spearheaded the library movement in India. The function was held at Ibn Khaldun Auditorium. Librarian Dr. Abdul Majid Baba presented the inaugural remarks. Professor S. R. Ranganathan, the author of Colon Classification and the father of library movement in India, a world-renowned authority on modern library classification and cataloging, had dedicated his life for the advancement of library science and library profession in India. He was born on 12th August 1892 at Shiali, a town in the Tanjur district of Tamil Nadu state. His strong subjects during his college career were mathematics, Sanskrit and English. Since 1917, he was assistant professor of mathematics for seven years up to the end of 1923. In his lecture, former head Department of Library and Information Science, Professor Waji Ahmed Alwi said that in today's technological world, it's important to ask the question, how does physical library serve us? The Google estimated in August 2010 that there were 129 billion books in existence in the world. The US alone which is the major publishing country in the world, according to Bowker,
published 316,000 books in 2010. There are 3,000 books that are published worldwide even today. In India, more than 80,000 books are published almost every year. How in the present day information communication technology landscape, these libraries fit today, do they hold any ground in it? in this new landscape or we should say goodbye to the libraries in this new landscape. Head Department of Library and Information Science, Professor S.M. Shafi said that changing the lifestyles of people has put challenge before librarians to market books in innovative ways. It's not a question of uh, accumulating the books only. It's not a question of accumulate, uh, uh, the cost escalation of the prices. I have seen that the uh, lifestyle of people have changed. We have to market our things in a different way. We have to brand the library. How would to brand the library? How to market the library? It is, the go it is to be either simple, like a Google, or there are Thousands of websites, Generation X, Generation Y, now we say Generation Z people are using different, uh, they have, the consumer behavior is totally different. But libraries, unfortunately, are not investigating, are investing uh, in consumer understanding, consumer behavior. We, we, should, we should take a cue from uh, corporate bodies. Registrar Professor Zafar Ahmad Rishi said that Librarian Day must be celebrated so as to impress upon people the importance of books. I understand that this day must, have, must be celebrated to re-emphasize uh, the focus of the libraries as well as the librarians. Agree? And then I believe that this re-emphasis must, must not have been more important that, than it is now. A reason being that we live in very different times. We live in a sort of a cyber world where technology has taken over uh, tremendously. It has made significant inroads in the library system as well. And a librarian in current times, without knowing basically knowledge of handling computers, uh, could be something redundant. I mean, could not be very useful basically to the system. Libraries are coming into sharp focus for two reasons. One is that the volume of knowledge that is being generated in the institutions world over is tremendous. And then how that knowledge can be made available to the users must be one of the biggest challenges of the librarians. This is one. And second, how to actually, say, say, say keep pace with the technological changes that are pl taking place elsewhere. Dean Academic Affairs Professor A.M. Shah said that it's important to ask ourselves whether we are effectively operating library resources. Are we effectively operating from management point of view so far as the library resources are concerned or not. I believe this is the department wherein we have achieved excellence at the top. The environment which is emerging, this core competence is not going to sustain in future. Why? Because the environment is changing substantially. Right now we are trying our level best that students should come and enjoy the resources which we have developed in the university or they should come and enter the library and see what exactly we have done. And right now we can say we are excelling in this area. There is an operational effectiveness in this area, no doubt about it. Vice Chancellor Professor Talat Ahmed in his presidential address underlined the need for imparting regular training to students for the proper use of library system. Not all of them are really aware of uh, what are the facilities that are available and uh, how to best use the available facilities of the library. As uh, we all know that our library is one of the best in the country, but whether we are really using to the extent the knowledge that is accumulated in the library and whether uh, we have been in a position to tell the new students who are joining the university uh, about the library and how to use to the best of it. So I had told to Dr. Baba earlier and I still say, I, I know that uh, they are doing uh, some sort of training but I think more extensive training and more regular training actually should be given to the students. Assistant Librarian Mr. Abdul Siddiq Mattu conducted the proceedings of the event. 
Later, the participants had a look at the photo exhibition that depicted the journey of library science. Vice Chancellor Professor Talat Ahmed held a meeting with the members of Project Review and Steering Group. The meeting was held in connection with the project e-governance, administrative setup in Kashmir University and its affiliated colleges. Ministry of Communications and Information Technology, Government of India has sanctioned this project. During the meeting, Professor Talat Ahmed assured them that the university would actively contribute in the development of the society by capitalizing on the opportunities associated with the information technology. The Vice Chancellor said that besides implementing and managing e-governance in the university system, IT and SS would continue to provide necessary support to other organizations in the e-governance plans. The priority is the public concern this project and their components. Okay, let us identify that and give them. And give them a timeline. And we will have some sort of mechanism of internal evaluation and monitoring. And then again, say another six months or one year, we should have uh, yes, round. I think we should have some the meeting took stock of the progress made by the IT and SS department of the university in the implementation and execution of new software solutions as part of the e-governance of administrative setup project. <music> university of Kashmir held a meeting with Inspire team. Innovation in scientific pursuit for inspired research, which in popular terminology is called INSPIRE, is organized for students of 10th to plus 2 to encourage them towards science stream. The INSPIRE camp is held regularly in Kashmir University and in this connection the meeting was held to discuss the arrangements. The INSPIRE camp will be held from September 7 to September 11. And His Excellency, uh, Governor of the Juman Kashmir State, has uh, consented to be the chief guest of the occasion and an invitation has also sir, gone to the Honorable Minister of uh, State for uh, School Education and Science and Technology. There are, I have seen some program wherein they are telling a story about the person. Yes, this person started career like this, then did this, then did this, then did this, then did this. So it, it really inspires students. Means that you are just showing a documentary for 10 minutes. They are available on YouTube or other things because great scientists. Yeah. Even they are say uh, 50 years old or some old story, student gets impressed that this is the person who started from a zero. Yeah. Started from this thing, started this in life, this and achieved this height. So objecting is basically to inspire people. Yes, sir. For inspiring that there are many stories, some kind of success story should be linked to yes, sir. That's all we have for you in store for today's episode. Log on to emmrckashmir.com where you could check all the latest episodes of Quest. You can always send us your valuable suggestions and feedback at quest at emmrckashmir.com. While I sign off and say goodbye, here's this week's thought. With so much war, poverty, injustice and environmental degradation afoot, aren't I ashamed to be worrying about my literary status.